The Azimuth Enhanced Multi-Cannon Gimbal is a tech broker variant of the well-established Aegis Enhanced Multi-Cannon, available at rescue ships. This is the third generation of AX Multi-Cannons and benefits from the lessons learned on its ancestors. Available for size 2 and 3 hardpoints, the Azimuth Enhanced Multi-Cannon resolves the two greatest weaknesses of its Aegis Enhanced predecessor, namely damage output and reload time. Damage per round and damage per second gain a 10% boost, though this comes at the cost of power draw and heat efficiency, a trade-off seen on the Salvation Guardian weapons, and so isn't a surprise to see here. Total power draw is 1.12 megawatts, almost double the previous version, while the total thermal load is 1.1 a whopping 300% increase over the last generation of weapons. Additional provisions have been made for an auto-loading mechanism, which greatly expands the effective magazine size for this platform, since it actively loads rounds into weapons while firing. The load rate is comparable to that seen on engineered conventional weapons, and greatly increases sustained damage capability where time on target can be maintained as well as ensuring that there are almost always enough rounds available when a shot is aligned. It's still possible to empty the magazine against interceptors and very large scout swarms, at which point the normal reload process is required, but instances of this occurring are greatly reduced, making the Azimuth AX Multicannon a clear winner over its Aegis Enhanced competition. These performance improvements do come with some notable downsides. First, the Azimuth Enhanced Multicannon is a tech broker restricted item on a per unit basis, making it difficult to acquire. The ingredients list avoids anything too exotic, with four of the six items being AX combat related salvage, and the remaining two being raw materials. There is an unpredictable grind associated with this weapon, though it isn't hard to be where these items can be found. The real challenge with this list is the intrinsic difficulty attached to Thargoid-related salvage. Thargoid materials degrade in open space, and the caustic clouds created when these ships die provide for strong passive deterrence. Ships that harvest these materials need collector limpet controllers, the cargo space to manage limpets, and extensive protection against corrosion. The effort is significant, but worth it, especially for commanders entering Thargoid maelstroms. It does, however, present a significant restriction that will take time and planning to overcome. The Crate Mark II remains my favorite for Thargoid materials-related salvage, since it tends towards greater flexibility without extensive re-engineering. The second major downside of this weapon is its thermal load. Three azimuth-enhanced multi-cannons can generate enough heat to overwhelm a Crate Mark II if the capacitor runs low, though its distributor draw remains unchanged over other AX multi-cannons. Base power draw is also higher, but remains under the load of most energy-based weapons. Builds that are power-constrained may still need to make adjustments before switching to this variant. Overall, azimuth appears to have hit a home run with this weapon. Gimbaled multi-cannons are phenomenally easy to use, offer long combat endurance, and integrate well with most any ship. While not as powerful as a Guardian weapon, Azimuth has succeeded at closing the gap another notch. The tech broker restrictions are a major downside, but it does still have the advantage of functioning in Maelstrom systems. This weapon should definitely be on your list for any ship that uses AX multi-cannons. The grind is somewhat easier than for the Guardian weapons, and the impact is significant. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.